what's going on youtube so it's nathan back with another one bringing to you a quick update on the channel i haven't posted to this channel in about two months so it's been a while since i posted to this channel i did want to bring you guys a quick update um even though i haven't posted let me just give you a quick rundown so i do work a full-time job on top of doing youtube so that's had my attention then plus i did have a newborn baby on march 23rd so that's had my undivided attention this entire time for two months straight. I haven't been able to really produce as much content as I normally do, um, but I'm here today bringing to you what I can for you guys to make sure that you do have the tools that you need to get you through this quarantine time. And I haven't posted since the pandemic started, so that's pretty interesting. In between the busy schedule that I have been grinding out, trying to you know juggle multiple things like raising a newborn, trying to do YouTube, and going to a full-time job, this is what time it is right now. Well, in case you can't see that, it is May 16th, Saturday, 12.26 a.m. So, let's go and get into it. It's late, but we're still here grinding it out. I just gave you a quick update on the channel, so I'm back. Let's go and jump into this video. So, I got my Amazon Fire Stick up on the TV over there. It's uh, in the background there. You won't be able to see it. So, if you see me looking over there, that's where I'm looking. So, I'm just going to go ahead and guide you through this video. But this time, you'll be able to see me and follow me on the screen here. So I'm on the Amazon Fire Stick. So the first thing that we wanna talk about is buffering. So in this pandemic or quarantine times, mm -hmm. you may have noticed that all the sources on any of those third-party apps for the movies, TV shows, anything, there's major buffering on those sources and it just doesn't work. And you could have top-notch speeds, it doesn't matter what you have, it just won't work. So let me go ahead and give you a quick update on what you can do. So the first thing that we want to do is test our speeds and then I'll go ahead and show you additional details. So we're on Amazon Fire Stick and I have this app on my Amazon Fire Stick right here. We have uh, speed test Wi-Fi analyzer. So that's what we're gonna test our speed with. So if you don't already have this app on your Amazon Fire Stick, let me show you how you'll find it. So you just go up on the main screen on the Amazon Fire Stick and go to the magnifying glass on the top left and then use this keypad and you'll just type in here speed test so let's go ahead and spell that out all right so we have speed test so once you have that and you see that go down to the first search result it says speed test click on it and then mine says apps and games and then to the the third to the right on the row here to the right it says speed test wi-fi analyzer it kind of has the uh logo of um blue green pink just click on that icon all right and then immediately once you open it up um it'll ask you to download it so go ahead and download that app but once you do download it go ahead and open it up once you open the app, it immediately starts to run a speed test. So as you can see, it's running a speed test on my speeds right now. My download speed currently is 166 megabits uh, per second. And then my upload speed is just 11 megs. So that's perfect speed for watching any type of content on my Amazon Fire Stick. So as you can see, there's green check boxes next to all the different types of content that I can watch. I can watch 720p, 1080p. 4K, 8K, whatever it is, my speeds can handle everything that I can potentially be able to watch on my Amazon Fire Stick. So, why is it that if I have great speeds, why am I getting buffering? So this is where the next step comes into play. So, let's go back to the home screen on the Amazon Fire Stick. All right. And then also before I go to the next step here, let's go down to another app that I have on my Amazon Fire Stick. I do have this app called Background Apps and Process Lists. This is a definitely another good handy tool that you can have and add to your Amazon Fire Stick, mainly because it helps tremendously with buffering, mainly because let me open this up. And before I open it up, let me show you how to get it. So top left, once again, magnifying glass. You want to use the keypad once again, type in background, and then as you even type in BAC, 
you see it auto populate down there background apps and process lists if you don't see it auto populate with just typing in BAC just make sure you spell it, spell it a little bit farther all the way out until it does auto populate for you once you see it click on background apps and process lists and then immediately under apps and games once it does load the search results it says background apps and process list as the first search result so i'm gonna click on that and then immediately once i do open it up it what what this app is going to do once you open it up on your amazon fire stick it's going to show you all the apps that you have running in the background on your amazon fire stick so if you do see multiple apps in here there's one option that you want to use on this app it's called close all apps in the top left here you see close all apps so if you click on that basically it individually allows you to force stop and what force stop does it just shuts down the app so those apps are running in the background which means they're going to take up your internet speed so that 166 megabits per second for my speed that's going to dig into that speed so to make sure that one app is getting all the internet speed and all the internet connection you want to make sure that these apps are force stop so let's go ahead and click on force stop and then you just click the back button on your amazon fire stick remote click the back button that's going to advance you to the next app that's running in the background on your amazon fire stick so we do this once again click on force stop and then click the back button it may seem like nothing is happening, but you're closing all of those apps one by one. And once you're done with this, it'll pop back to the background and app screen for stop back button. See it as it pops back to the screen, we're starting to close more and more. And you'll notice that it'll pop back to this screen, even though you haven't closed out all the apps. It's just basically bumping you back so you can see the progress of which apps that you have closed. So. Just click on close all apps again and we'll force stop and then click back and then you'll see this it says no apps open so that's what we want to see at all times definitely when we're trying to watch content without buffering so keep that in mind that's definitely a good tip to have so i'm gonna go back to the home screen on the amazon fire stick and then we're gonna go to the internet browser um, this is the amazon silk web browser if you don't have this web browser, let me show you how to get it. It's easy, same steps. Go up to the top left, go to the magnifying glass, use the keypad and type in silk browser. As you can type, as you start to type in silk, you will see silk. So just click on silk browser. All right, so silk browser. That's what you'll see. The first search result should be internet with a Amazon smiley face. Just click on that icon. All right, so once you have installed that app, if you don't already have it, for those of you that already do have it, let's go ahead and open up the Silk browser. So we'll go ahead and open up the Silk browser. And then once you do, it'll most likely advance you to Bing.com. And then Bing.com will come with the search bar. And let's go ahead and type in in the search bar so once we click on the search bar what we're going to type in is real debrid and some of you may be familiar with real debrid but i will make sure that i explain it once we type this in so that's r-e-a-l space debrid d-e-b-r-e-d or r-i-d actually All right, so we have that typed in real debris and it does come up. You just use the cursor, the use the arrows here on your Amazon Fire Stick to move the mouse and then hit the search. So it does search real debris. And then you'll see the search results here on the web browser, realdebrid.com. That's where we want to go. This does basically give you a wide range of um, content that you can access so what I mean by that is um, when you do open up uh, the apps that give you the movies TV shows and you're streaming your content you 
you uh, are given a list of sources um, and that they'll say like 1080p, 720p, standard, SD, 480p. You've seen them, the sources. So basically those sources, they show up uh, with white letters and everyone who has access to that app has access to those same sources, which means the entire world is watching that same source that you just clicked on at the same exact time that you are watching your content. So basically that means that the connection is gonna be so bogged down, that's why you're seeing buffering, it's putting stress on the servers from wherever it's streaming from. And that just, <clears throat> it's not your connection once again, it's basically the server that's running that movie and there's so many people accessing it, it's bogging it down to where it's buffering on your end. So to prevent that, what we wanna do is use Real Debrid. So Real Debrid, let's go into the website here. So once we're on the website, realdebrid.com, there's a login at the top and then there's a sign up. I already have a login, so I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account. For those of you who don't already have a login for realdebrid.com, make sure you click that sign up button. Go ahead and sign up, you won't regret it. Uh, and I'm not pumping Real Debrid. I'm not sponsored by them or by any means. I'm not making a, a video to sponsor them or get a kickback from this at all. So I just recognize a good service and I pay for good services when they do cross my path. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would definitely recommend it. Um, and let's go and jump into it. So I'm gonna go and log into my account and I'll show you what this does have to offer. All right, so I logged into realdebrid.com. I'm in the back office. This is what you'll see if you ever sign up for an account. You'll see this and then you'll most likely look at it the way I looked at it the first time I came to this website. I'm like, what is this? What am I doing? What, what do I do? I see what it says. It says high speed downloads up to 1,000 uh, megabits per second, partial downloads, unlimited traffic, and you know, no wait times for advertising, so forth and so forth. So what am I looking at? All right, so it says my account. Mine's is expired right now, so I'll go ahead and renew it right now. So let's go ahead and go down. All right, so this is what the sources will look like for the Real Debrid sources. They're all yellow. As you can see, there's multiple 4K options. There's tons of options. There's also more streams. Uh, so when it says streams found, 104, 140, so forth, there's a lot more options to choose from. It's hard to be all on top of each other when there comes to uh, streaming content, when the whole world is trying to stream. That way, multiple people can be streaming from multiple different sources and it won't bog things up. There's plenty of traffic and different avenues to go down. So that's what I mean by that. Um, also, as you can see, if you look through here, you will see yellow search results, which is the real debris, and then you'll see white search results, which is the regular free ones that everyone can see. So try to avoid the white ones and start using the yellow ones, and you will have great service. All right, as for adding these, uh, as for adding real debris to an app, so basically you open up an app most likely a third-party add-on and then you open it up most likely you'll get these options probably say like TV shows movies favorites history show calendar download settings something like that um, on those apps on the main menu on the left side panel you know um, and then you just click on settings and then once you're in the settings what you'll do is you just go down And then somewhere in the settings, you'll see premium accounts, which is the paid for accounts. And then it says, uh, it'll most likely say log on to Real Debrid. So you wanna click on that and then it'll ask you to log on to Real Debrid. I'm already logged into mine, so I'm not gonna log out of it, but you'll see that, click on it, log in with the information of the account that you created on the Real Debrid website. And you will be golden. You'll be all set. You'll just click the back button, open up a movie. You'll see the sources and you'll be golden. And then once you go down on this screen, you will see where it does show three euro, four euro, nine euro, 16 euro. And you may say, all right, I don't have euros, but that's fine. You can do it in uh, USD as well. Right below three euro, it does say $3.24 for USD. $4, $9, and $17. So very inexpensive 
for the service. Once again, it's outstanding. I highly recommend it because once I did start it, start using it, I regretted not using it for all those years that I was using my Amazon Fire Stick. So with this being said, um, what you get, it does say 15 days for the $3, for, um, 30 days for $4, 90 days for $9, and also for $17, you can do six months, 180 days, which isn't bad, that's outstanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the $9 for 90 days, and we'll go ahead and subscribe to that. Uh, and then you just go through here, it says you're buying 90 days, you click on the checkbox, and then you pay for it. I'm not gonna show myself pay for it, but I'm gonna go ahead and proceed and I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, so I went ahead and paid for it and this is what you see, it says premium. It does show the date of how long I have until it does expire. So I have until August 14th, 2020. So that's quite a while and then it does say fidelity points. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I guess it's referring to the referral program. They do have a referral program. So if you were to sign up for this and then you told somebody else about it and gave them your referral link, you can definitely take advantage of the referral program. But this is the website and I'm gonna go back to the Amazon Fire Stick home screen. Unfortunately, I can't go in depth of showing you the actual movies on the screen to kind of give you a play by play on how this would work and how the difference from using those one sources versus the real debris sources. I can't give you a, a live side by side comparison on YouTube, unfortunately, but you will definitely notice a difference using real debris on your Amazon Fire Stick. All the people that do use real debris right now on the Amazon Fire Stick or any other device definitely comment down below and tell everybody how good it is and for those of you who don't use it definitely recommend it it's highly recommended and hope you enjoyed this video give it a like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace